Hey everybody, Jake with Scooters Lawn Care. Uh, today I want to go over a question someone asked and, um, and mention some other things real quick. So first off, I want to say thank you everybody for 500 subscribers. Um, it's very awesome to know that people care about the information that we're putting out and that people can find it useful. And um, like I mentioned in the last video, I want to try to keep hitting on some of the things that frustrated me off the beginning. Uh, I want to really hit on those a lot and, you know, mix that in with a little bit of the, the more growth strategies we use now and, and, and where we're at and, and relate to both the best we can and, and try to really help everybody. Um, so I really appreciate the feedback from everybody. It's been great. Appreciate the uh, the comments on the videos, the likes, the subscribes, everything. Thank you so much. To have 500 subscribers, that just blows me away that it, it's grown as quick as it has. You know, I look, I think a month ago we hit 100. Um, but so I also wanted to mention and um, put a disclaimer out there on why I haven't been answering as quick. And there's some emails that I wanted to get shot off to people and I got some sent out. And then all of a sudden we sent out those 10,000 flyers last Friday. They hit... Saturday, Saturday we had three estimates request on email, and then by Monday the phone was just ringing off the hook. Um, so, and this is for stuff besides that mailer too. We've got the mailer going, and we've got other people, you know, customers that are normally coming in, and and everything else. And it's really just hit, and it feels like we're in the middle of the season again, and we haven't even got anybody working yet. We're just doing estimates. So I wanted to apologize if you see some slower responses. It's taken a couple days. I'm going to get to everything, and I'm going to do my best to do it efficiently in a timely manner. Um, but things may take a little longer as we get into the heat of the spring. But um, I did see one question that I wanted to read off, and I, uh, I saw it. it spiked my interest. I've been in that position time and time again. I get in that position now, and I wanted to answer it. So I went ahead and printed it off. It is by, uh, let's see here, Andrew, uh, Andrew Harris. He said, Jacob, Jake, Jacob, Jacob, I recently lost a client, <clears throat> which doesn't happen often, but it does happen. I asked the client if there was any problem with our service, and if so, what could I do to correct it? With the intention of earning their business back in the future. In other words, some feedback. Very understandable. Um, I did not hear back from the client, which is discouraging for me. I don't like to leave clients unhappy or unsatisfied. I always think the worst. When this happens to you and your company, how do you approach it? I appreciate it. Thanks. Well, first off, I don't know if you're doing this already. And this was a great piece of advice that you can start at any time. Um, we started doing reviews on our customers, sending them reviews. Uh, we do it monthly during the season. You know, how are we doing? We change it each time, and some, and we kind of even tell our customers. I know it's repetitive, but reviews. Now I'm not. This this could have happened to you for any reason. This could have happened. Somebody else mentioned the customer might not have the money to pay. That may be the case. We run into very few customers. We have customers that have problems before they have money problems. Um, but if you start doing reviews to your customers, getting honest feedback from them all the time, you get past asking them for feedback if this customer was unhappy. Um, you get past trying to ask them after they're already gone because this person was obviously, for whatever reason, it doesn't have to be bad, but for whatever reason, they were on their way out the door. Um, and at that time, they probably broke contact and they don't really care to tell you why they don't like the service. Um, so reviews are huge. You can use, uh, I can't remember it. There's some kind of monkey review. I, I, I feel horrible for not remembering it. We use Service Autopilot. It lets us send out forms, collect reviews. Um, <clears throat> that's something that wasn't even the, in the four part series, but so what we proactively try to do is send out a review and get feedback from the customer. Yeah, it's great to hear, oh, you're great. The company does great. But really what it allows is those customers that are going to complain and, and say stuff that they're upset about, it's going to give them a, a, a easy way to do it to you right now because a lot of customers won't call you on that stuff so now they can put it in there and you can proactively get on top of it and make sure it's fixed and potentially prevent a situation like this from happening um, you know it could have been it could have been one of a million reasons on why they left but um, so that is something an approach to maybe save more of your customers and be proactive about uh, making sure you're keeping them with reviews <clears throat> The second thing is you do lose customers. Things happen. Uh, you try to find out why. You try to make them happy. You try to do everything. I really like to hear that you're upset about it. 
because being upset about it is, you know, shows how much you care. I, I don't care how big we get. If we lose a customer and I don't feel right about it, I'm upset about it. it you know, it's one thing if a customer was um, causing problems, was being a hard to work with customer. It wasn't a good fit for the business. We weren't a good fit for each other. But when a customer is truly a great customer and they just kind of dissolve and go away on you, it's always... It always upsets me. I, I don't think that that's ever going to go away. I'm probably going to notice it less and less and less because there's going to be other tiers of management that are dealing with them and I might not see it as much. So, um, you know, it is something that's going to happen. It is something that you're going to have to deal with. But as far as keeping customer retention up, reviews are a great way to find out what is wrong before it becomes a problem where you are no longer the service provider. Um, so I hope this <clears throat> I hope this answered your question. Uh, I hope uh, I hope that other people can use this. Um, I'll list Survey Monkey. That's what it is. Survey Monkey is what you can use. It's free. It lets you do a certain amount of customers, create surveys for them, track the results, and uh, I guarantee you're going to find out some good things about your company. Find out some weaknesses. Find out some customers that you thought were happy that wouldn't have told you otherwise and might be mad. And then you're going to look at why they're mad and you're going to fix it because you know you're good at what you do and you offer a hundred percent satisfaction guarantee if you you really want to boost boost what you're doing um, so I hope this helps everybody I hope people find some value in this uh, if you do please like and subscribe this video or and uh, subscribe to us and try to get some more content out there and you know if you have any opinions or, or thoughts on this please share with us uh, like I said uh, Probably going to take a little bit longer right now to get back to everybody. I really, truly, I feel about like not getting back to people promptly the same as you feel about losing a customer. So um, don't think I don't care and I don't want to get back because I do. So everybody have a great week. Think about reviews. Look into SurveyMonkey. Like I said, Service Autopilot's the, the one. It's got it all. You can do it with that. So um, good luck. Let's, uh, let's get cranking. 2017 is definitely here full stride. Probably for a lot of you, it's warming up, and it's time for us to get busy. So everybody have a great week. Hang in there. I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.